Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I've just showered and done a little bit of hyaluronic acid because I'm wanting a very moisturized, dewy, glowy situation this morning because we are doing a photo shoot. I thought I would vlog and take you guys along. I'm going to make a coffee first and then I will be right back. All right, so I'm going to pop on some moisturizer and my ultraviolet SPF 50, even though the weather looks like that. But it's okay because Alex, my photographer, usually brings some kind of like artificial sunlight, so it should be okay. I'm just covering Leo because he is in the nudie. And I'm also in the nudie, so I should... So I'm going to go and get some croissants from Loon. I need to go to the bank really quick and organize some of the bikinis. I actually haven't already like formally said on YouTube what what is the go. So I have basically decided to create a brand and I've done that. We've got a website and I've got a whole bunch of samples. I was super picky when choosing the samples and I found the perfect black string bikini and I'm obsessed and for example I'm a black string bikini kind of girl they're my favorite kind of bikinis they're perfect for tanning they're so adjustable you can just untie the top untie the bottom untie the sides of the bottoms like they're just they're everything and the, the one that I currently wear was like $300 from Revolve and I'm just like and like it's, it's synthetic and it's not high quality and it was made in China and I'm just kind of like sorry so i'm just like you know what i'm sure i could do a better job <laughs> so that's pretty much what i've what i've attempted to do and i'm pretty happy with everything so far to be honest so my beautiful friend lara is coming over and she is sort of like the opposite of me she's like this bronze goddess and so i think it's really important that we like obviously you guys know what my body shape looks like so i'm going to show what i look like in the togs and then obviously we're going to show what she looks like in the togs and something really important to you guys i was asking like what do you look for when you're shopping for bikinis is it you know patterns colors styles like the the feel of the fabric is it affordability is it size inclusivity and like 90 percent of the feedback that i got was size inclusivity so that is something that I'm really sort of valuing. And for it just to be as high quality as humanly possible, while still it being affordable, if that makes sense. So a bikini, a top and a bottom will be less than $60, hopefully around the $52 mark. I'm just sort of still doing a little bit of the maths, but um, we're sort of hoping like in the 20s for like a top and in the 20s for a bottom. So that's the update. I have a whole bunch of samples and they just sort of all came to me. At the moment, we only have the black triangle bikini and tie up and the bottoms are like a normal brief bottom, which if you know me, I love my literal ass to be out because I love to tan and it's just what's comfortable for me. And they are coming. I am doing a full brief and I'm also doing like a cheeky sort of almost thong type thing. And I did get a few suggestions to do a high-waisted so I am going to do actually a couple of high-waisted as well but they are still coming because I went ahead with this supplier and was like I want this this and this and you know like the communication is really good and um they are made in China but I have I feel like it is sustainable and I have like photos of the factory and everything and um I think there's like 57 staff or something and they like give you like photos of what it looks like and and like I'm talking to someone who actually works there so I'm really happy with all of that sort of side of things. And yeah, so to start off, we're just doing black because I'm the queen of black bikinis. I just love black. And then I have ordered some really fun ones, which I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna give anything away yet, but they're really close. They're not, not far away at all. So yes, and, and a lot of people were like, yeah, we can appreciate the sort of thong situation, but like we're brief girls. And I totally like understand that like, brief bottoms like normal bikini bottoms are just like classic and it's good to just like have a classic sort of bikini something a little bit conservative like when you go to like your in-laws for christmas and you're swimming in the pool like you probably don't want to be wearing a g-banger um that's just how i feel anyway or like at like a big public beach i would probably wear something more conservative if i had it so it actually is good that i now have you know a normal bikini that's not so sex worker offensive to the general public so i just need to deal with this hair of mine and get going 
Lara is here. Hi. We are having a little coffee and croissant. And Alex of Chocolate is going to be here in 15 minutes. And this is currently what I look like. So I need to go and put something on my face and sort out this mop of a head. <laughs> Get ready with you. Hollywood floors filter. Yeah, except the lighting is awful and I'm in a hurry and I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, also my forehead's peeling because I'm a little bit sunburned. Um, ultraviolet skin tint. That was cream I went in to buy the um, Hourglass concealer that's all over TikTok and they've completely sold out. And I went in to buy my Laura Mercier translucent powder mm -hmm. um, and they've completely sold out. Yeah. I don't know if you know how to use this. This is my first photo shoot since getting my new chest. And I need to update actually all of my photos on all of my profiles to actually look like me and my new boobs. And I only have like three lingerie sets that fit me, so we're just gonna have to make those work. So it'll be nice and short and sweet. Well, I'm actually not gonna cut my lashes, Steve, so I'm just gonna put fake lashes on. Just straight on. Maybelline Sky High because it has not failed me, and every other mascara ever has. We're up at the pool and it's so cloudy that there's no one here. And Lara is thriving. Yes! It's the model. <laughs> It is starting to rain, but just like, you wouldn't know it. Yeah. It's, it's nice, eh? It is raining. <laughs> okay, so can you sit up from there? Yeah. You can do like that to the Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, into there, a little bit of shoulder across, like looking across the shoulder. That's it, looking in. That's it, nice. And kneeling one more time. Yeah. And And then looking this way, Rosie. Oh, weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Love this line. Both hands up with your hair. Yep. Shoulders up. Yes. Nice. And then hold the side for me. Up. So you might have to put your glasses in the other hand. Yeah. Hold this up a little bit. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So this is the non-turning oil. Look at that. She's fully raining now, so we need to move. Undercover. Look at the. Literally, look at this guy. She's not having it today. Absolutely not. How's the water temp? Chilly. That's it. Look out to the, uh, the sky out to the side there. Yeah, no. yeah slay. Slay! slay. <laughs> the rain has stopped and we're back to posing. Wow. So we have finished filming upstairs and now we are in the sauna. Ooh. Nice and hot and cute. It is warm in here. Lara is the best model slash assistant slash um, maker of thank you. lighting coordinator, beverage maker. We are working with a glistening water thingamajig. It's looking good. Yeah. Ignore the vlog. So we have just wrapped up. Alex has left. We've got some. Red velvet cake that I bought yesterday. And we ordered some Vietnamese and we're gonna watch Selling the OC. Fun me! Minus the coriander because that's gross. Yeah. Devil's herb, take that off. Got some little nibbles. I've got a bath. Yeah, it's gonna be nice and hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
and he's so lovely he's from Melbourne and he is a doctor and he's just great and I am now going to uni to feed my stem cells hopefully they haven't contaminated like the ones on Friday did <laughs> So I just got into the lab, set up my hood. These are my Hubex, human umbilical vein endothelial cells. And they're growing, but they're not growing as well as I would like them to. Definitely nowhere near as good as my choroidal mesenchymal stromal cells. So I'm gonna feed them and I'll see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So these are what the cells are currently looking like. They're quite sparse. They are human umbilical, they're basically just stem cells. Um, so they're growing, but they're not gonna be confluent for ages. So I just need to keep feeding them, keeping them in 37 degrees at 5% 5 5 CO2 to keep them happy. I've just come up to the roof because it's sunny. and so nice. And I'm honestly feeling like I'm about to fall asleep. I'm so sleepy. I might just have a little nap. So we have a little guest tonight, my little love. We have Fletcher. Say hello vlog. Hi everyone. He's chill. He's just had a bath so he is so flippin' soft. Hello. Hello. And Leo has just gone to KFC and I'm so excited. Um, I just feel like a burger and i just like i don't know what it is i feel like it's like their lettuce and their mayo i'm just obsessed and i love the potato and gravy so he's just gone to get us a little dinner snack and i should probably read my book but honestly i'm two episodes behind on handmaid's tale and you're gonna need to catch up so that's what i'm gonna do i am obsessed mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Yum. i am being spoiled Spoiled! <laughs> oh my god, Handmaid's Tale was insane. The episode, oh my god. Didn't see that coming. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. I am obsessed. But it's 10pm, which is past my bedtime, which means I must go to sleep. So, I am going to wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!